Most of us think of neighbors as people who might watch over our house when we're away or lend a hand when we run out of groceries. We assume that's the extent of what they can do for us. But what if I told you that neighbors are capable of much more? What if I told you a group of neighbors banded together to stop something potentially dangerous for everyone in their building? Faced with adversity and no real backup, these neighbors took a bold step. You could call it bravery or foolhardiness. It's up to you to decide. Now, imagine finding yourself a victim of vandalism. What would be the first thing you'd do? Most people would think to call the police, and that's exactly what a resident in West Hollywood, Los Angeles did after his property was vandalized. However, despite his efforts, the police couldn't catch the culprit. Frustrated and losing hope, he started to doubt if the vandal would ever be brought to justice. But that's when things took a surprising turn, thanks to his determined neighbors. The man was shocked to discover that he wasn't the only one targeted by the vandal. Many of his neighbors had also fallen victim. Like him, they had reached out to the police, but once again, the authorities were unable to resolve the issue. Feeling helpless and unsure of what to do next, the residents decided to unite. The man took the initiative to contact everyone in the building, determined to get everyone on the same page to tackle the problem and identify the culprit. Once word spread, the entire building rallied together, realizing that if the police couldn't catch the vandal, they would have to take matters into their own hands as a community. With everyone on board, the next step was to come up with a plan. The first action they took was to notify the police about the ongoing vandalism and the fact that it had happened repeatedly. This wasn't the first time something like this had occurred. Almost a year ago, a similar incident took place. The question now was whether these events were connected or if they were dealing with a completely new situation. A few months before the latest incident, the events that unfolded were both unexpected and unsettling. Nothing had seemed out of the ordinary in the quiet neighborhood, but the residents were about to face a shocking surprise. It was a seemingly normal morning when one resident walked out to the parking lot, only to discover something that left him and everyone in the area stunned. As he reached his car, he was met with a sight that filled him with disbelief. The front right tire of his car had been slashed. Initially, he thought it might be an isolated act of vandalism targeting a single tire, but as he looked around, his heart sank further. The adjacent tire was also slashed. In fact, all four tires of his car had been deliberately destroyed. Filled with anger and confusion, he stood frozen, unsure of what to do. The realization that everyone in the building had already been victims of similar acts of vandalism added to the frustration. At first, they believed it was just a one-time incident, but they couldn't have been more mistaken. Just when they thought the worst was behind them? Two days later, something else happened that sent shockwaves through the entire community. What they believed to be over was only just beginning. Two days after the first vandalism incident, another car was attacked. With two incidents occurring so close together, it became clear to the residents that they were dealing with a series of anti-social acts. This time, only one tire was slashed, but even a single tire was enough to make people realize the seriousness of the situation. The repeated incidents left the community on edge, nervous about what might happen next. Fear spread through the building as residents braced themselves for more vandalism. Unfortunately, their fears were justified. The very next day, the vandal struck again, and this time the destruction escalated. The target was a car that had already been vandalized, but the perpetrator decided that slashing tires was no longer enough. In a shocking twist, the vandal took a different approach. Instead of damaging the tires, he defaced the car with orange paint, an act no one had anticipated. The sight of the defaced vehicle left the entire building horrified, and the growing severity of the vandalism had everyone on edge uncertain of what might happen next. After this incident, there was a brief period of calm. With the vandalism seemingly stopped, the residents of the building began to believe that the ordeal was finally over. But once again, they were wrong. A few days later, another car was defaced with the same bright orange spray paint. At this point, the residents had reached their limit. Frustrated and angry, they were furious with the police for making no progress in solving the case. Determined to put an end to the ongoing vandalism, the residents decided it was time to take matters into their own hands. Despite over a week of these incidents, nothing had changed and they could no longer sit by and wait for a solution. The residents came up with a plan, install security cameras. 
They reached out to the authorities to see if anything could be done about setting up CCTs, but were informed that the authorities couldn't help with the installation. Undeterred, the residents pooled their money together and took the initiative themselves, purchasing cameras to monitor the area and hopefully catch the vandal in the act. The residents installed the cameras, hoping to catch the person responsible for the chaos in their building. When they began reviewing the footage, they noticed something unusual. On the recordings, a suspicious individual was seen entering the building, someone who didn't live there. To their surprise, the same person returned the following day. At first, the residents didn't know what to do with this information. The authorities had already distanced themselves from the issue, and the residents felt stuck. However, now armed with video evidence, they took the footage straight to the police, hoping for action. Unfortunately, the police were unable to do anything with the information the residents had gathered. Frustrated, the residents turned to the owners of the apartment complex, but their concerns were met with indifference. Realizing that neither the police nor the property owners were going to help, the residents knew they had to act on their own. The situation had escalated, and it was clear that the only way to stop the vandal was to take matters into their own hands. Though they had no backup, the residents decided to handle the situation themselves. Just as they were planning their next move, one woman in the group proposed a bold plan. Among the building's residents was a woman who had grown fed up with the ongoing vandalism and decided to take matters into her own hands. Determined to put an end to it, she volunteered to stay up all night and keep watch over the parking lot where the residents' cars were parked. Her decision earned her praise from everyone in the building, as she was willing to step up for the entire community. However, even she couldn't have anticipated what was about to unfold. On her very first night on watch, something caught her attention. She spotted the same suspicious individual from the CCTV footage, carefully making his way toward the parking lot. Immediately, she texted several residents, urging them to call 911. One resident called the police, who were quickly dispatched to the scene, but the residents were already at their breaking point and had no intention of letting the vandal escape this time. As the police made their way over, one resident decided to take matters into his own hands. Ignoring the potential danger, he resolved to confront the intruder before the authorities arrived. This was a risky and impulsive move, as the situation could have easily turned dangerous. The CCTVs captured everything that followed. The resident, with no backup, ran down to the parking lot to face the suspicious person head-on, setting up a tense confrontation. The resident rushed down to the parking lot to confront the intruder. He approached him calmly and asked what he was doing there. Realizing he had been caught red-handed, the intruder panicked and made a run for it. Determined not to let him escape, the resident gave chase. As the two men struggled, other residents, seeing the commotion, hurried to the parking lot to help. Together, they managed to subdue the intruder and make a citizen's arrest. With the intruder detained, the residents faced a new challenge, how to keep him secure until the police arrived. While holding him down, they decided to search his pockets to see if he was carrying anything dangerous. What they found was chilling. The intruder had a knife. The sight of the weapon left the residents shaken. They assumed the knife was meant to slash more tires, but the thought crossed everyone's mind. What if he had intended to use it on a person instead? The woman who had first spotted him was especially rattled, realizing how close they all had come to something far worse. When the residents discovered the intruder was carrying a knife, fear swept through the group. They knew they had to restrain him before the police arrived to prevent anyone from getting hurt. Acting quickly, they decided to use duct tape to keep him securely restrained. Fortunately, luck was on their side, and they managed to keep him tied up until the authorities arrived. When the police arrived, they found the intruder on the ground, immobilized with duct tape. After hearing the resident's account of the events, the officers arrested the man and took him away. The building's residents had proven to be a remarkable team working together to resolve the situation. When local news outlets asked the residents what they would do if something like this happened again, they confidently said they wouldn't hesitate to band together and take action once more. Word quickly spread about the courageous residents who had come together to stop the vandal, and soon the entire community knew about their efforts. The local news praised the residents for their bravery and smart decisions, especially for installing CCTV cameras and keeping the authorities informed throughout the ordeal. While they admitted it may have been risky to confront the intruder without backup, 
the residents had ultimately taken the necessary steps to protect their community. The residents could finally rest easy knowing the vandal was behind bars and that their ordeal was over. A sense of relief washed over the building as they no longer had to live in fear of further disturbances. Though everyone agreed the experience was far from pleasant, they took comfort in the way they had come together as a community. Still, they all wished they could have bonded with their neighbors under happier and less stressful circumstances.